The K1 World Grand Prix was one of the most exciting events in the history of combat sports. After a 16-man opening round, eight fighters advanced to a one-night tournament to crown the K1 World Grand Prix champion, with the winner of the tournament being considered the best striker on the planet. Hey guys, this is Nathan with Muay Thai Authority, and today we're looking at the top five K1 World Grand Prix champions. We're not looking at K1 Max GP champions for this list. Before we get into the list, make sure to give our page a follow so you can stay up to date with all our videos. Japan's K1 promotion was huge in the 90s and early 2000s. It had the best strikers in the world and the showcase for them was the annual K1 World Grand Prix, which featured eight heavyweights vying for the K1 World GP crown in a one night tournament. There were 19 K1 World GPs held with nine different champions being crowned. The K1 World GP ran from 1993 until 2012, every year with the exception of 2011. So without further ado, let's get into who the five best K1 World Grand Prix champions are. Number 5 on this list is Switzerland's Andy Hug. The Swiss Karateka won the 1996 K1 World Grand Prix with a spectacular run that culminated with a spinning low kick knockout victory over Mike Bernardo in the final. Hug, who was undersized for a heavyweight, started the tournament by scoring stoppage wins over Bart Valley and Dwayne Vandermeer. This set up a showdown with Ernesto Hoost in the tournament semifinals, which turned out to be a classic. After three rounds, the fight was declared a draw and ended up going into two extra rounds before Hug was declared the winner. If you haven't seen the fight, you should go look it up because it's great. In the final, Hug utilized Locus to claim the K1 World Grand Prix Championship from South Africa's Mike Bernardo. Hug would make it to the K1 World GP Finals in 1997 and 1998, but both times came up short, losing by decision to Hoost in 97, and then losing by KO to Peter Ayer in 1998. Hug tragically passed away from leukemia in 2000 at the young age of 35. Number 4 on this list is the flying gentleman Remy Bonjaski. The Dutch striker won three K1 World Grand Prix tournaments in 2003, 2004, and 2008. Bonjaski was always impressive in the tournament. His 2003 and 2004 tournament wins saw him defeat Musasi by decision in the tournament final both years. His 2008 tournament win was somewhat disappointing though, in the sense that he was robbed from truly being able to celebrate the victory. He faced Bader Hari in the 2008 tournament final, and Bonjaski was looking good. He dropped Hari in the first round, but in the second, Hari began to unload on Bonjaski. It didn't seem to hurt him, but the relentless attack forced Bonjaski to retreat, at which point he slipped to the canvas and then Hari completely lost his mind and foot stomped Bonjaski's head. What? This resulted in Hari getting disqualified and secured the third tournament championship for Bonjaski. Number three on this list is Mr. Perfect Ernesto Hoos. The Dutch low kick master won four K1 World GP tournaments. He was a champion in 1997, 1999, 2000, and 2002. If it wasn't for a left hook from Branko Sigatik in 1993, Hoos could have been a five time champion. But on the same note, if it wasn't for a series of injuries to other competitors in 2002, he wouldn't have been a four-time champion. In 1997, Hoost won the tournament by defeating defending champion Andy Hug. In 1999, he knocked out Mirko Krokop in the final, and in 2000, he beat Ray Seffel to claim the crown. For his final tournament championship in 2002, he defeated Jerome Lebanor by TKO. The 2002 tournament win though, pretty much has an asterisk on it, and that's the reason he's number three on this list. Hoos lost in the opening 16-man round when he was TKO'd by Bob Sapp. Yes, Bob Sapp, who turned out to be Ernesto Hoos' kryptonite. Semi Schilt was injured and could not compete against Bob Sapp in the quarterfinals, so Hoos was called back into the tournament. Hoos then lost in the quarterfinals to Sapp for a second time after the referee called the fight when Sapp cornered Hoos and started unloading shots. The stoppage was somewhat questionable, but nonetheless he lost. But after Sapp couldn't continue because of injury himself, Hoos was then able to advance to the semifinals against Ray Seppo. In the semifinal fight, Seppo injured his shin when he threw a low kick, and then Hoos advanced to the final where he defeated Jerome Lebonor, who had his arm broken by blocking a kick from Hoos in the third round. If this had been a clean run through the tournament in 2002, then it'd be a completely different story where he places on this list, but the fact that there was so many things that went into his favor, like losing twice and then still getting to stay in the tournament to win it, places a huge asterisk on it. Number two on the list of top five K1 World GP champions is the Dutch lumberjack Peter Ayrts. Ayrts was around when the first K1 World GP took place in 1993. He came up short the first year of the tournament, followed that up by winning the tournament in back-to-back -back years in 1994 and 1995. In 94, he defeated Masaki Satagi by decision, and in 95, he defeated Jerome Lebanor by KO. 
He won his third K1 World GP in 1998 with a gem of a run in the tournament. He won all of his fights in 1998 by TKO, which included a head kick knockout of Andy Hug in the final. Not only did Ayers win three tournaments, he also finished second on three other occasions. His last appearance in the K1 World GP Finals was in 2010 when he lost by TKO to Alistair Overeem. He was always a threat to make it to the finals of the tournament, as you can see by making it there six times and winning three of those. So no matter what, it was very impressive and that's why he ranks number two on this list. Number one on this list is another Dutch powerhouse, Semi Schill. Honestly, the K1 World Grand Prix was pretty much dominated by Dutch strikers, with 15 of the 19 tournaments being won by fighters from the Netherlands. Schilt won four K1 World GP tournaments. The 6 foot 11 inch Schilt won the tournament in 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2009. He is the only man to win the tournament three years in a row. In 2005, he defeated Glob Feitosa in the final, and in 2006 and 2007, he defeated Peter Ayrts in the finals. And in 2009, he dominated Badahari in the tournament final after knocking him down three times in the first round. If it wasn't for Peter Ayrts beating Schilt by majority decision in 2008 in the opening round of 16, we could have potentially seen Schilt win the tournament five consecutive years in a row. The fact that Schill can say he won four K1 World Grand Prix championships with no asterisk is the reason he is number one. His 2009 win was the most impressive as he scored TKO wins over Jerome Lebanon, Remy Bonjanski, and Bader Hari to claim the crown that year. There you have it, the top five K1 World Grand Prix champions. Make sure to let us know in the comments if you agree with this list and if not who you think the top five K1 World Grand Prix champions are. Or if you don't agree with someone's position on this list, let us know where you think they should be placed. Thank you for watching and until next time, this is Nathan with Muay Thai Authority. 